Hey everybody out there, my name is Dragnix. This is Grapple. 719, it's 10% off on the Steam store right now. It is a 3D puzzle platformer with physics, a triple P as you will. It is definitely going to be a game in which the genre lovers, the puzzle platformer lovers, will like what Grapple does. It does things a little bit differently, a little bit of a mix-up of the formula that you, you have seen a lot of over the last couple of years, and yet, it does things rather well in that respect. Now, will others enjoy it? That's a good question. I think they will. It's a question of whether or not the 719 or the 799, depending on when it's on sale or not, is going to be worth the price. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, first of all, you have 90 levels in all. They all have collectibles, so there is some replayability here. You also have a speed run, which is every level, nonstop. Try to finish in 1 hour 20 minutes at this point, which means suggests that you can go through this game in a short amount of time for eight bucks okay you know there's like replayability there's collectibles here there's also time trial see how fast you can go again whether or not you like that stuff or not but we're gonna play a little bit of the levels here now we have a blob we are a blob and we stick the things as you can see there you can hear the sound effects of it hitting the, the platform here so basic mechanics as you can see as it teaches you there is you can swing using your left mouse button and physics takes over as in you know sort of a pendulum type of thing you can jump and you'll stick to surfaces you'll even stick to surfaces in which gravity would you would would usually for like a normal human being would throw you off on i can actually stick to that top portion of the platform right up there if i can get enough speed to get up there which is nice because that can lead to some alternative solutions so I'm going to go here. Now your little grab there, grabble there, grapple, grab, grabber, there we go, grabber, has a range on it. And you saw there, I stuck on that top portion. I didn't have enough to stick on it for permanently, so gravity pulled me down. Physics engine works pretty well here. It works as, as you would expect it. Now, you can also, like as you see here, you go up walls appropriately. And stick to walls appropriately. Now, one of the things that you'll notice, like right there, is that movement with the mouse and keyboard can be weird because it moves you in the direction based on what you're pointing your mouse at. So right now, I hit left, I'm going that way. But if I could do this, left goes that goes down instead. So your mouse makes a huge difference of where you're pointing it at, which can be weird at first. It can be really strange. I think this is a collectible. Up, oh, he's, he's having fun. I don't know what, he, what he's throwing his arm. Well, yep, throws his arm at himself, of course. So, so the controls do take a tiny bit in terms of the camera, but the controls are in that area of a great one for a platformer in like this. It's not too tight in which you can like recover over almost instantly from any mistake you've made, but it's tight enough where it's easy to deal with all the problems in question. You never feel like you're unequipped now you notice there i died so these red platforms if i jump on them i die now one of the things i found weird about the game is that if you touch a red platform in particular with your grapple you're fine it's a weird rule set there where it's like okay that would normally kill the goop but the regular goop that's grabbing onto it is okay okay well let's not get into that it's just one of those little strange things that little inconsistencies now you notice there that i grabbed it a little bit too late and gr gravity pulled me down appropriately and i wasn't able to make the jump now i was able to grab it rather higher in the jump and thus i was able to make it again good physics engine here you're not getting taken advantage of in terms of the way that the game is throwing problems at you that's a checkpoint all right grab here and throw myself now these are the early levels and they do a good job of, of teaching you the basics without actually having to teach you like some games like press R at this very moment. I like that about this game. It naturally teaches you. Like here, all you need is that picture to say, oh hey look, he's walking on the, on the ceiling to think, oh maybe I can do that too. Yes I can. So, cool. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that momentum if I kept on going fast there, I would have probably fallen right off because momentum makes a 
big part of this game. All right, there we go. Throw myself on there, up and over, and I'm good. Simple enough. So the puzzle portion of the game is rather good, and it mixes things up rather well. It introduces new concepts rather frequently early on, and it never seems old in the er early get the goings. Get goings. There we go. Now, one of the things I will say on that is that it can be a little bit weird in terms of like the positioning of that, um, those collectibles, just because it's sometimes hard to, to predict your gravity movement based on what you're doing with, you know, where the position of that item is. So, all right, we got some cir circular spears here. Not a lot different there, but we're doing all right. Now, sometimes the obvious path, there is an obvious path. Like, th there's a way that the game wants you to go, but sometimes you'll notice that you can sort of forego portions of it. Maybe that's good for people who like speed runs to try to, you know, find that extra little time to maybe get around things. And in addition, you, you do have chances to sort of recover from like problems. Like you noticed earlier on, I was stuck on the bottom there, but I used the physics to get myself back up. That was nice. So very solid game in that retrospect. So what are some of the negatives? Well, here's the thing. There are little things with the level design in which, not the level design, in, well, sort of level design, I guess. Um, it would be nice to see at the end of the level what number of collectibles I grabbed in terms of did I grab all of them or did I grab three or four and be able to retry at that point because you do have that on the regular menu but not on the, you know, when you end, which is pretty normal from what I know, from what I understood about, you know, these kind of games. I, I'm, I was a little surprised that it wasn't there. Now, sometimes the game's camera can work against you because you you have control of it. You can use a controller, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, the reason is the controller works just fine. Um, although it won't give you the prompts necessarily, like, okay, when it does say press X to do something, oopsies, um, it won't give you the proper key for that in terms of the button press but it's more so the fact that you have a lot more control because of the mouse when using the controller and i will do it here like you have a specific rotation in terms of speed you can't go faster than that with the mouse yeah i can definitely go faster than that and that can really play a good part into well wait a minute you know i can actually recover from some of these things that i wasn't able to recover from before now that's not the game's, well, I guess it, you could up the sensitivity on that, but there, it, with, with the controller you lose your preciseness, which, okay, that's what, that's, that's a reasonable problem for it to have. The music gets very annoying in my opinion. Um, it just doesn't have the sort of staying power, especially because it repeats a lot, and it just doesn't have the upbeat, I mean, it's got this smooth, you know, very, very lighthearted portion to it, but honestly, it just doesn't do a lot for me. Okay, there we go. Don't want to hit those red portions. Now, you notice these platforms here. I can't actually grab onto them, but I can grab through them, so keep that in mind. So, like, with the blue platforms, I could touch them and I can actually go on them regularly, but I just can't grab them like I would on these platforms. All right, there we go. Checkpoint. Um... And now it's starting to teach you that you can swing yourself left and right a little bit. There we go. Ah. Hey. Hey. So, the challenge does get ramped up very well, as I was saying. You start to get control over your left and right portions in terms of moving yourself via the physics engine. And it does a very good job of that. It starts introducing, you know, more slanted walls. Slanted walls can make a difference because, like, there... If I sort of just peeked over, I wouldn't have had enough speed to hit this portion. Now, I could have tried to grab, like, another portion, but it wouldn't have worked very well. All right, there we go. Up we go. All right, so this game, real question in my mind is the content. You have 90 levels. You do have some re replayability in terms of the 
collectibles in question. I'm not sure what the collectibles will will do. Um, it doesn't really go into that, but you know, if those if you like those kind of oh, I gotta have everything items on these games, that could give you enough time with the game to really take advantage of it. Now again, it's 719. It's not that expensive and there's a pretty unique premise here. There's been physics platformers like this, but however, I just I'm trying to remember one that's done it this well lately and I can't really think of it. And you notice there was a green glow in the background. I missed one of the items back there. All right, shift. I can actually drop myself after hitting a wall. Ooh, bam. And I d I'm gonna play a couple more levels for you guys just to show you exactly what I'm talking about in terms of le level variety, because it does mix it up rather well. All right, here we go. Now you see there, you got this huge red portion here. Now I can't grab onto that. This has got a, a, a finite length, but you'll notice when we come back that way, why it's there. The physics is is a really underrated portion of this in terms of you don't seem to think about it at first and then all of a sudden oh wait that's why I needed that's why the physics engine is so important. All right, here we go. Up, oh, there we go. Jump up. Checkpoint. Excellent. I'm going to get that item. E oh, what does this do? Up, oh, that's uh, you're going exorcist on me. Don't want that. Don't want it. Okay, bam, all right, and jump up, and up and over. The camera will get a little bit sickening at times. All right, so we're gonna throw ourselves. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, smack, and I can just drop myself, I can get that other item later. So, that is grapple, and it does a great job. Oh, let's do one more level, actually, because this one shows you the Oh, hey, I can't get through here. Yes, you can. There's a lot of finite control you have at this point based on when you grab the portion. That was stupid. So, it is a great grapple game. It is a great grapple game. It's called Grapple. So, in terms of a conclusion, I would say Grapple is worth the price of a mission here, especially if you like puzzle platformers um, with physics. I think there's enough here, enough finite control to really bring you back. The question really to me is gonna be the amount of content. Considering this is the first impressions, obviously I'm not gonna give you the entire portion. You could probably play through this game in, in a couple of hours. Again, note the speed run portion, but honestly the collectibles and just the sort of feeling of going through and sort of throwing yourself around is nice and it's done rather well. The one downside I say again, the music is, isn't something that I would, you know, thrust up in terms of, yeah, this is good music, but it's solid. It's a very solid platformer, very solid physics engine kind of game, and I would recommend it to everyone. All right, this is Dragnix signing out. I hope you have a wonderful day, and keep on gaming. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnix signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.